Hi guys, Mark here from uh, WeLoveCoffeeMakers.com uh, with a quick review on the Krups uh, Blade F203 coffee grinder. It's a great little uh, grinder for anyone uh, looking for something cheap, uh, entry level grinder. Um, very basic to, to use and operate. You've got your basin or bowl inside there uh, with your blade. Um, you've got your hopper here goes on there a safety switch you push down uh, let's show you some of the different types of grind this can do uh, you can do a good coarse medium and fine grind with this obviously it's not going to be as good as the uh, as the burr grinder uh, but you do get what you pay for so um, if you're looking for a better grinder obviously the burr is the way to go but for the budget minded something like this as an entry level uh, is perfect uh, for everyday use Let's have a look. <coughs> Grab some beans. Okay. Operating is pretty simple. Um, you take your your beans. I've got enough here for uh, for a French press. Tip in your beans like that. Take your cover, place on top, um, and here's your button for starting. Now, for a coarse grind, um, I recommend anywhere between three to five seconds. Um, uh, and I actually like to pulse, so uh, count to five and then pulse. Have a quick look. Uh, that's very coarse. I hope you can see that. So I'll go a little bit longer. One, two, three, four, five. And that's a perfect uh, coarse ground coffee there. The good thing about the Crocs uh, coffee grinder. Um, is the actual shape here? It's not. It's not totally round. It's elliptical, uh, which makes it a lot easier for pouring out the coffee. Let's have a look. Let's go for a, a medium. Okay, so we're going for a medium here. Exactly the same as before, top on tightly. Uh, and for a medium, I say anywhere from 10 to 15 seconds. Um, it, it's all about how long you press the button down for. I like to pulse it. Uh, I don't like the, the, the motor or the blades to warm up. Um, so I do a pulsing action until I get the uh, consistency I want. So let's try a medium grind. Okay, nice medium grind. I don't know if you can see that. You could obviously go a little bit longer if you want it a little bit finer. Let's have to tap that out. Uh, and let's try finally for a very fine, fine grind for an espresso or a, a mocha pot or something like that. Uh, for a fine grind, I suggest uh, around 30 seconds. Um, again, I recommend pulsing so the blades and the, and the motor of the grinder doesn't warm up too much and heat up, uh, which can affect the taste of your coffee. Uh, let's have a go then. It's the fine grind. Halfway through, I'll have to give it a bit of a shake and a tap. 
Make sure you get all those coffee uh, to the blade. Let's have a look. Yep, lovely fine grind there. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, so we've got a medium, a coarse, and a fine grind here, all with the Krups F203 grinder. And like I said, you're not going to get the, uh, the the same quality as you would uh, with a burr grinder. Um, a lot of inconsistency with each grind. Um, the medium grind um, has quite a few uh, chunky bits in it. The fine grind is, is fine, uh, but it's not uh, universally fine. Um, it could be better. And again, the burr, the burr grade of a grinder would uh, would do better a better job than this. But for everyday use, you can't really go wrong. Um, I use mine for uh, for a quick coarse grind for my French press. Um, it does a great job. Um, and that's basically it. That's the uh, the Krups F203 grinder, um, a great entry level and cheap coffee grinder for home. Thank you very much.